there were two things which are fundamentally missing. One was a platform for kids to actually build. They have ideas and some of their ideas were brilliant and most of them practical also to build. It's just that they are not yet ready or have the capability and guidance. And the second part which we thought was one is the platform and the second was the mentoring or the guidance they need to build that thing. So this is where we thought, okay, let's start with the product part of it or the platform and uh, we call it the B-Box. So it's like an electronic brain. So it's a physical device which is an electronic brain. So just like uh, we humans have brain and nerves are connected to different parts, it has nerves but they are not connected. So the thing is that then uh, I can use this brain or kid can use this brain and then imagine like for example if he wants to build a small vacuum cleaner, he can use this brain connected to the suction part of the vacuum cleaner and ask it to be automatic. And a kid or a 10 year old can actually do that. So that's a fun part. And you can use smart cards for younger kids to basically program the brain or they can use an app on a mobile phone to do it. So it becomes much more flexible. And then after we did that, we also created a simple curriculum around it so that kids can actually be taken hands on with respect to if they have an idea, how do you convert that into a real working prototype? So then we piloted it in a few schools. At this point of time, we have uh, over 100 schools with 50,000 students using uh, uh, the kit. So it's, uh, and we call it B-Box Innovation Lab at this point of time and, uh, and, and I think it's, it's quite impactful. We have thousands of innovations which have come out of that. Kids starting with uh, uh, mundane things like helping uh, uh, household chores to full-fledged healthcare systems, to IoT devices, to how to actually check out pollutions, all these things which have come out from kids. So it's a great enabler for kids to come out with innovations. And the second shift which we are able to create is this doesn't aid them directly into learning science, math and all. We don't teach them science, math or any of the other language, but this helps them inherently apply all those into something which they love doing. Look, teaching is about sometimes you tell them a topic, some students like it, some students don't like it. So it's not inspirational. These are stuff, it's my idea, I want to build it. So they will go to any extent to learn all the subjects required to make that idea into reality. So we want, we are now looking at creating a platform for these kids to come and showcase. And then of course, government is doing its bet. We must have heard about Atal Tinkering Labs with the government of India is piloting. So they are saying we want more tinkerers now. So that's a good initiative. And I think there's going to be a mixture of a lot of things which works in an ecosystem. And we see a million innovators coming out.